Hey everyone, we've got a treat for you today. Something that I didn't even know existed. We are here in Pangyo Techno Valley at a very unique restaurant. But before we get into the details, let's talk to someone who is in charge of strategic planning here at Beyond Honeycomb. This is Kiara. Thanks for joining. Hi, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm really excited to be here because uh, I know a little bit of the background, but before we get into it, can you introduce yourself and kind of what the company does? Okay, um, I'm Kiara Lowe. Um, I am in charge of strategic planning in Beyond Honeycomb. So what Beyond Honeycomb does is a food tech startup where we specialize in AI and food sensor. So what we do is we try to replicate um, chef's dishes using AI technology and sensing technology. And we try to bring up the quality of everyday meals in a reasonable price. And when you say chefs, are you talking about like celebrity chefs? Well, we do collaborate with different chefs in Korea at the moment. Um, some celebrity chefs that you might know from TV, some Michelin star winning chefs as well. So we have quite a network. Um, they have been providing us with some know-hows and recipes that we could utilize and implement our technology in. in. So we have been serving those dishes to our customers here at Tikijong. Tikijong. So what, Tikijom is the name of the restaurant. Mm -hmm. What does that mean in English? So Tikijom means singularity. So it basically has a lot of different meanings inside. Um, one of them was that we wanted to be seen as a singular brand. That no, you cannot taste this quality anywhere else in the world. But it also means the point where AI overcomes the human skill. So that's where we actually have that hidden meaning in. So you take the chef's recipe and when you might normally have the chef not available, your technology can make the food better than, let's just say, a part-time worker behind the scenes can. Exactly. What is that technology we're talking about? So we combine three different technologies inside. So firstly, we have the food sensor technology. So we have made our own sensors that is able to sense the cook. Uh, the meal when it's being cooked real time. So it senses the different states of the ingredient itself. For example, the burntness, the crispiness, the tenderness. Then the AI comes in. The AI learns the skills required to replicate the chef's dish within 48 hours. And finally, the food robotics comes in. So we have made our own robots that is able to replicate the dish that is being cooked in the kitchen itself. So our robotics are not those robotic arms and all that you can see in the TV nowadays. It's very simple and it is compatible with any other commercial kitchens that you can see. So you can just pull it in front of your usual broilers, your usual grills, then it would do the cooking. So we're talking about what's right behind us right now. Exactly. And that's the robot that uses the AI technology, that uses the learn technology to create the perfect meal. But so if that's the technology, this is Tiki Dome. Mm -hmm. That means that this is a kind of your restaurant, mm -hmm. but you're intending to maybe branch out and offer your technology to other companies that may want to utilize it. Exactly. So at the moment, we have been collaborating with different FMB food and beverage brands, but also with different cafeterias and different um, big firms, big tech firms that would like to implement our technology into their cafeterias for their um, workers, basically. So. We have been very busy for the past few months. After we have opened this um, brand, this branch, there have been a lot of love calls from different um, brands that we wouldn't have imagined if we didn't have this place. So it's a good news for us, I guess. Well, it seems like it. Uh, we are actually here filming a little after lunch, and mm -hmm. um, I missed lunch. <laughs> so I have some more questions. But sure. do you mind if we take a look behind the scenes and we prepare a meal? by chance that we can check out how it works? Of course, well, I'm not a good chef myself, but using our robotics, <laughs> simple. <laughs> yeah, so we get food that's better than what she can cook. <laughs> <laughs> sure, of course. Uh, all right, let's go check it out. So what do we have here? So we've prepared two different dishes, our, one of our signature dishes in here at Tiki Dom. So this is the gourmet protein rice bowl made by our sh famous chef Ryu Taehwan. He's the owner chef of Runik. 
-hmm. And this is the Thai um, rice bowl made by our chef Wind Min Zee Kim. She's the owner chef of Mishmash Korea. So hope you enjoy. All right, let's dig in. Well, this chicken looks really good. Mm -hmm. Mmm. Oh, it still kept a lot of that juiciness, too. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That's the whole point. Exactly. <laughs> How's your food? I mean, I've tried this more than a million <laughs> times, but it's still good. All right, what is the future of Beyond Honeycomb? Mm -hmm. what, what are we looking at in the future? Well, at the moment, we are focusing on the core of food, which is taste. Mm -hmm. But we really think we could bring in more into food if we implement technology into it. For example, we can make food, everyday dining, more healthier and tastier, mm -hmm. but cheaper. So we are currently um, also doing some research on nutrition location. So we can make more healthier dishes that in home and we plan to make in home cookers within two or three years time and we provide um, meal kits that they can cook at home using our in home cooker and also we are looking into moving into the US with our business because of the labor shortage we believe labor shortage is a huge huge problem not just in Korea but also in the US so we thought we could bring a revolution in the dining ecosystem in the US if we have this technology there. Because I used to work at a few restaurants in the US oh. and I noticed the back kind of had like an integration of a US style grill uh, and it, was that what was on display here? Exactly. So we first made our robots for the broilers and the grills that is usually used in the US commercial kitchens. So it grills in a really, really high temperature. Mm -hmm. So it's suitable for grilled menu. But in Korea, we are also making this robot that is suitable for griddles and mm -hmm. char broilers, mm -hmm. which is more commonly seen in Korean commercial kitchens. So basically, we're compatible with any type of kitchens. Well, I hope to really see this, uh, I guess, not only in businesses, but even in my home one day. I think that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a great potential, great future, and uh, I'm really happy that you showed me around this place. Happy, happy to help. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, before we uh, end this, uh, do you mind if I try one of those? Oh, of course. Oh, I gotta, I gotta go. This looks like a bit of a Korean samgyeopsal almost, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that's it. So we got to see a little bit from Beyond Honeycomb and Tukijom, the singularity mm -hmm. restaurant here in Pango Techno Valley. Kiara, thanks again for everything. Thank you, thank you. Cheers, let's eat. <laughs> oh, is it? It's, it's kind of mm. cold though. I feel like, I, I like the combo, the, whatever the flavoring, the Yeah, the yeah, it's, it's, it has the little Thai kick in it. It's cold because we have to film and wait for the food <laughs> all the time. I've been waiting for it. Okay, I think thank we're good. You, thank you so much. That was oh, great. So, <laughs>